Hello, my dashers, and good morning. Welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we talk about everything van life and travel journeys. So it is the morning time. It's time to cook up some breakfast. And um, it's kind of a new thing for me because I have an induction stove, which is all new to me. I have normally been doing everything on a one burner propane or butane stove. So now I have an induction stove with this rig. So I had to get a new set of kitchenware. So I got, this is my kitchen. <laughs> It isn't as compact as the one from the Cascade Camper, but I am keeping the crossover kit because it is actually all the little tools, spatula and things that I need. So I am definitely keeping this one, but I have now uh, two pots and a pan and it's all in here. With space being the way that it is, it's small. So I don't have a lot of room for all these pots, these pans and everything else. So I had to find something that I could use that I would be very comfortable with. Um, see, most pots and pans have handles and this one actually has a removable handle. So when it stores compact within itself, it actually is really nice. So I've got a nice little saucepan, which then turns into a bowl because I don't have a handle on it. So it ends up being a little bowl with a cover and a strainer as the handle. It has a skillet, again, turns into a plate, double use. And then I've got a really big plate. <laughs> a really big pot or pan. So I actually have three now, a pot and two pans. So I have not used this. So we are going to make some breakfast and, and see what these is really nice is you just crimp it and you release it. So, for instance, you take my little, I, I think this is the nine and a half. You just put it on and you give it a squeeze. And that sucker's on there. Now it's like a regular pan. So now, and it does have the induction magnetic um, bottom, which will distribute the heat evenly. And then when I'm done, I just push this back a little bit. And it will come off. And now I've got a plate. So I keep the cardboard so it doesn't have metal on metal when I store them. So that way I don't scratch the bottom by any means and then my little pot oh and this does have a bigger thing let me see yes sorry <laughs> a bigger lid for the bigger pot so that's all the pots i'll ever need for cooking and this is very easy to store so I don't want to spend, you know, some cupboard space, my precious only two cupboard space here with pots and pans. So let's give it a try. Let's make a uh, bacon cheese omelet. Mm, I'm feeling that this morning. Let's go get it. Okay, so I've got everything out of the fridge. So let's get to cooking. I'm going to put on this, give it a good squeeze, and now it is intact. It 
So let me get let's get the Kraken. This is keto friendly, which is kind of nice. All right, let's get some Aji Shokisho, which is a Japanese salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Now, oh, let me get the cooking area. Now, what I do is this area sometimes will have the shade down. So I like to use a windscreen, but it also helps to protect the heat from going to that way. So we are going to do this, all right? And you wanna keep the area behind open because that is the vent for the induction stove. Okay, now. Again, I'm still learning about this induction stove, that's for sure. Um, so now, we are ready to do some cooking. I'm going to turn on my inverter. Give that a minute. I have a 2000 watt inverter with 200 amp hours being okay so we've got that going we will turn it on we want to heat it uh, five six seven let's go to seven we kind of hear some buzzing you see yep that's already heating up good um i'll go to six I don't want to burn my eggs. Give it some. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get my ingredients together, which is going to be bacon bits and some shredded cheese. Alrighty. So I'm going to put in my eggs. Oh, that heated up pretty quick. All right. And I'm going to pick them up. Maybe I need to get a little bit more. Must not be level, which is okay. All right, we are starting to get formed up. I'm gonna put some bacon in there. I'm gonna put it in. And I'm going to cook this together. are getting cooked. Working pretty good. And now we're going to add some cheese. Who doesn't love an omelet with cheese? Oh yeah. Oh, 
Huh, it's pretty quick. I'm pretty impressed with this induction. You know, um, it is pretty kind of folded in half. I normally do. Ooh. Flip. And that is it. We are done. Now I'm going to let this cool off. Whew. Now, meanwhile, as I said, this is also a plate, but I'm not going to use uh, metal. So I will use a bamboo fork. I'm also going to let the pan cool off for a minute. Let's see how long it takes for it to cool off. So this is done. So I usually put this right back. And now I'm just going to let that cool down. It says it's hot. And then what I will do is I will turn off my um, inverter. And that's it. I am ready for a hot breakfast. Okay, so we are ready and the pan is still hot, so I'm going to leave it on the cutting board. Um, I'm going to give this a good old push back, take off the handle. So now it is my plate. Um, let's dig in. Oh, look at the cheese. Perfect. Mm. Honestly, this was quicker to make here on the induction stove than it was in my normal, um, back in the, um, at home base. Quite delicious, quite easy to make, um, and keto friendly, bacon, cheese, eggs. That's pretty much it. And quick, easy, the, the, it is not sticking to the pan. I'm really happy with the pan. Um, does take a bit for it to cool down, which is okay. It keeps my food warm then. No problem. Really happy. So I will leave the links below. Um, it is an affiliate link. Costs nothing for you, but it helps the channel out. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're interested in the, in the pans itself, uh, the windscreen, I'll also put that on as well for those that do have an induction cooktop that can't take it anywhere. It's kind of nice to have because it just protects the back end. Um, I will leave that as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there and as always, stop dreaming it and start living it. Bye.